people. This is Garrick from opensourcewebsites.com. Thank you for watching um, this how-to video on how to set up the publishing settings for Composer. Uh, the reason why we're going to do this is it makes it easier to upload your site after editing um, using this, using these settings that we don't have to use like a secondary software like FileZilla or even log into your hosting account and use the file manager in there. So, and Composer is free. It's unlike Dreamweaver where you have to pay for it. However, it does have a lot of features Dreamweaver does. So it's nice to use because it's free. So, to get Composer, all you do is just go to, open up a browser, go to Composer.net. That's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R dot net. And then you'll, once you get to the site, you'll scroll down and you'll see a big download button. That'll allow you to download the latest version of Composer. And once you download it, it will look, it'll look like this. That's Composer. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the site in here. So this is the site manager. We're going to create the, the publishing settings under here. These two computers, you just click those. And then you set up the site name. I'm just going to name it the actual website address. And then here, you, the website information, you put the actual HTTP address. And then on the, the server, we're just going to put opensourcewebsites.com, so it doesn't necessarily have to have the, the www.com or whatever. And then here, we need the FTP user name and password. And to get that, um, if you don't know it off the top of your head, you'll need to go to your hosting account. And I use one in one dot com. Um, a lot of people use GoDaddy or you know any other hosting account. It'll be similar verbiage. Um, it'll usually be under FTP account information or FTP user information. Um, mine's under FTP account information. And a lot of times they don't actually show the password, but they'll show the username. And if you don't have one set up, all you'll have to do is just create a new user under. Um, one in one, I'm sure it's similar under GoDaddy. Just create the user, you get to pick the password most times. Um, but here, we're just going to need the, the username. I already know what the password is. So, we'll put the username in. And then I'll type the password. We'll click Save Password, that way I don't have to create or type it in every time and then we'll click OK and hopefully everything you'll see it opens up here um, it puts the website name there if I click the plus it should connect to the FTP server and all your files will show up here these will be all the files under that FTP account this is going to be another root of my account so you're going to see a ton of different files As you can see, we've connected to the FTP server here. And that's basically it for setting up the FTP account information under Composer. Thanks again for joining me at this how-to video from opensourcewebsites.com, and you have a great night.